time for me to start my Globe Artichokes from seed. It is late February here. I'm trying to push them from about 11 weeks. You can do them from 8 to 12, I think, to start your plants indoors. And I live in a Zone 5B. Globe Artichokes, like Zones uh, 7 to 11, though they grow best in 10 to 11. And that's because they like a humid summer and a short, uh, not frosty winter. So we have to replicate that. I'm in 5B, which means I have a very uh, long winter and they wouldn't survive as the perennial that they are here. So I grow them as an annual and I have to fool them into thinking they've gone through a typical Mediterranean season because artichokes produce their buds in the second season. So I wouldn't get them at all. So what we do here in, in cooler areas is grow them as an annual and that means fooling them by making them simulating the same type of weather. So I will grow these plants on till the weather here reaches about 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius for a 10 day period. So I have to monitor the weather and when I see that coming, those little plants, it's hard to watch, but you put them out to mimic that they're going through a winter. They will flop over. Um, I've lost a few. Some people put them in the refrigerator, by the way, to do this. Um, I think that would be too harsh. I just can't, uh, I don't do that. I put them outside and I want them to feel the air and the climate and start acclimating anyways. Uh, what happens when we do this vernalization, it's called, is they now go into a dormancy. So that's year one. So now in my year one, we're making them think that they're going to be coming into year two to produce the buds. Artichokes are such a joy for me. Um, something I always wanted to grow and took on the challenge just last year and they worked out really well for me and I was so pleased. Uh, they're ornamental in the garden. Think of a large, beautiful neon purple thistle if you let them go to flower. But the plant itself is, is a, a good size. Now in cooler climates, the plant does not grow to the size as they would in the zones they love. So keep that in mind when you put them in your garden. You don't have to worry when they talk about a two foot spread, two to three foot spread, I think. Um, I don't need that. Uh, one and a half feet, I'll give them room, but I still put plants around or whatnot, but they are just known. They won't grow to that size. I also grow a seed that is, has been bred, I guess, to grow better in cool climates. It's called Tavor, and uh, it's you still have to go through the vernalization, uh, but it is more for a nice short season, uh, the cooler that I have. So um, part of the reason why it worked also is the seed you choose. Now, the other reason I love them is when you sit down, they're not just ornamental outside, they're ornamental on your table. They're beautiful on a plate. And it's one of those things you can sit down and you're eating slowly uh, while you chat and enjoy. I steam them, uh, my preferred way. Um, and as you slowly pick your leaves off, the petals off, dump them in your vinaigrette or your butter or garlic butter. Um, yeah, just a relaxing table time with family and friends over conversations over your artichokes. Artichokes can be cooked many ways, and if you're looking for inspiration, go online. Uh, the largest producers are Italy, um, Spain, oh, and Egypt. And uh, California's renowned for their artichokes. Uh, 
though they have to go through fertilization in Ontario, there are two growers, I think they're Italian brothers, they're red ones, who um, have managed to grow beautiful crops. Um, but yeah, go online in some of those countries and um, get some tips. Your Italians do it in, um, they fry them as almost like a beautiful flour. And of course the centers are beautiful. There are many ways to cook. They have uh, a large size seed, so I'm going to be planting them in Inchown. I'm going to give them their own pots. So I've decided to seed eight artichoke plants because, as I mentioned earlier, they could possibly not make it when I put them through the vernalization. Artichokes don't particularly like their roots moved, one of those, so I'm, I'm putting them in a larger plant. This is an inch down now. Uh, a larger pot because um, they'll stay here for a little bit. If I have to pot them on once, that's okay. But um, the longer they can stay here, the happier they will be. And that's it. And they will sit in a sunny windowsill for 10 weeks. Now I've got just a few seeds left and I'm going to hang on to those because the seeds can actually last for artichokes up to five years if you take good care of them. Here's a few pictures of last year's. And yes, I was a wee bit proud of them. And I, I sure hope I'm successful again this year because they're great fun to grow. A um, fun fact about artichokes is they have in them a naturally an acid, because of the C, I don't know the name, that um, has a weird effect. It will make your next bite of food, no matter what that food is, taste sweet, sweeter. So think of serving it before a bitter green. Um, but your sommeliers, a, a smart sommelier knows, um, for example, uh, what wines to serve. So they may go for a dry champagne or a less sweeter wine. Um, it's very interesting. I've never noticed it uh, or thought about it when I'm eating, but I'll try to remember to do that this year. Anyway, that's about it. And hope you all have a wonderful week and we'll Talk soon.